The problems with our electoral process is mainly human induced as desperate desire for power leads to desperate attempts to gain power and office. Democracy the world over and as I am pursuing in Nigeria recognizes the power of the people. However, if some constituencies choose to bargain off their power, they should be prepared for denial of their rights. This goal is made more urgent if we realize that even after a transparent, free, fair, and credible election, desperation leads to compromising the judiciary to upturn legitimate decisions of the people. It is necessary to therefore support the enthronement of the rule of law by avoiding actions which compromise the judiciary. Fellow Nigerians, our history has shown that we are a people that have the capacity to live peacefully with one another. As a government, we remain committed to our constitutional oath of securing the lives and properties of the citizenry. I, however, call on the citizenry to also support government by providing the necessary community level intelligence in addressing these challenges. In moving forward together, it is important to strengthen our economy, to provide sustainable means of livelihood for as many Nigerians as possible, so as to eradicate absolute poverty from our midst. I want to re-emphasize my dedication and commitment, a dedication and commitment that fulfilled my public service career and informed my quest to continually seek for an opportunity to improve the lives of Nigerians, set the country on the path of prosperity, and lead the country to a better future. This administration has been focused on rebuilding and laying the foundations for a sustainable Nigeria. Of course, we have met and are still meeting the challenges inherent in any rebuilding initiative, more so that of a nation like Nigeria that has undergone avoidable levels of deprivation, but can be surmounted if we all work together. I wish to reiterate that our people and our spirit of excellence remains our most important asset. In this wise, the need to return to our age-old ethical and high moral values would be necessary, and this informed by launching of the National Ethics and Integrity Policy on Monday, the 28th of September, 2020. The policy would not implement itself, and the first contact of the visibility of its implementation is the public service whose ongoing reforms would be expected to be sustainable and give a radical redirection in providing services to all Nigerians. Fellow Nigerians, in addition to public health challenges of working to contain the spread of coronavirus, we have suffered a significant drop in our foreign exchange earnings and internal revenues due to 40% drop in oil prices and steep drop in economic activities, leading to a 60% drop in government revenue. Our government is grappling with the dual challenge of saving lives and livelihoods in face of drastically reduced resources. In this regard, sustaining the level of petroleum prices is no longer possible. 
The government, since coming into office, has recognized the economic argument for adjusting the price of petroleum. But the social argument about the knock-on effect of any adjustment weighed heavily with the government. Accordingly, in the last three years, we have introduced unprecedented measures in support of the economy and to the weakest members of our society in the shape of A, trade our money, B, farm our money, C, school feeding program, D, job creation efforts, and E, agricultural intervention programs. No government in the past did what we are doing with such scarce resources. We have managed to keep things going in spite of the disproportionate spending on security. Those in the previous government from 1999 to 2015 who presided over the near destruction of the country have now the impudence to attempt to criticize our efforts. In the circumstances, a responsible government must face realities and take tough decisions. Petroleum prices in Nigeria are to be adjusted. We sell now at 161 naira per liter. A comparison with our neighbors will illustrate the point. A. Chad, which is an oil producing country, charges 362 naira per liter. B. Niger, also an oil producing country, sells one liter at 346 naira. C. Ghana, another oil producing country, petroleum pump price is 326 naira per liter. Further afield, Egypt charges 211 naira per liter. Saudi Arabia charges 168 naira per liter. It makes no sense for oil to be cheaper in Nigeria than in Saudi Arabia. Fellow Nigerians, to achieve the great country we desire, we need to solidify our strength, increase our commitment, and encourage ourselves to do that which is right and proper, even when no one is watching. Fellow Nigerians, let us collectively resolve to continue our journey beyond the 60 years on the clear understanding that as a nation, we are greater together than being smaller units of nationalities. By the sufficient grace of God, we shall come through any transient challenges. It is my sincere hope that by the end of this anniversary, on September 30th, 2021, we will all be proud of taking this individual and collective self-assessment for the progress of our great nation.